Hey everybody, Christian Grust here. I uh, just wanted to do a update video for my uh, video log series for preparing for my hunting trip this fall. Uh, you know, I, I'm out on the East Coast and myself and some others are driving all the way to Colorado. So uh, in order to get ready for that, you know, we, we're gonna be going to the mountains, uh, possibly snow, all that stuff, pretty high elevation. So vehicles or, or trucks and whatnot are kind of an uh, important thing to make sure we got everything we need. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things that, that I've gotten to uh, uh, together to prepare for the trip. So, um, you know, let's go ahead and start looking at that. So... So the first thing that I think is a good thing to have for any sort of uh, you know long trek across country is a is a jump box. So I got a battery box here, and um, you know uh, keep that thing fully charged. You know it has a, a light on it. It actually has a internal air compressor as well. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, the hose is is kind of damaged on that guy. So, but anyways, uh, as far as the jump box portion, still works good. No problems there, so definitely a good thing to have. And another thing that's good to have is some sort of uh, air pump, all right? So for me, I'm gonna be towing a trailer as well. And, uh, you know, I've got a pretty, pretty decent air pump here for tires. So trailer tires, truck tires, whatever, it'll pretty much do it all. You hook it up to the battery, uh, leave your vehicle running, and uh, it'll, it'll pump stuff, stuff up pretty dang quick, uh, much quicker than like uh, your, uh, gas station uh, pumps. Something else that is pretty much a must when you're up in the mountains of Colorado in the uh, snow and whatnot is you need yourself some, some tire chains for your vehicle. Uh, so last time I went I had tire chains and you know I actually needed to use them so uh, unfortunately I have a different vehicle this time so I had to get another set of different size tires um, but anyways uh, you know make sure you have Basically, make sure you have what you need in case your truck or vehicle breaks down. Um, also, uh, if you're, um, you know, in rough weather or snow, snow and ice, and you know, have what you need to kind of get through that so you can get to where you need to go or, or get out of there to head home. So gas cans, uh, definitely need to have a couple, a couple gas cans. So I got 10 gallons here. Normally, that's enough. Uh, you know, if I run out of gas and need to get somewhere to get the gas station. 10 gallons is, is quite a bit, so I don't recommend going cross country. Uh, those that have been through you know, Kansas and whatnot, um, you, know, you never know when you see a gas station sometimes. So um, yeah, definitely uh, pack yourself some extra gas. So inside your vehicle yourself, uh, you should always carry, carry yourself a first aid kit. So I got a pretty pretty complete one here I did a review on it a while back so I just leave this in the truck you know, so I always have it um, you know no matter where you're going not just going out hunting you should always have a first aid kit all right so moving moving on with the vehicle stuff uh, a couple things I have here I always keep a couple extra quarts of oil in case I need it um, and lots of straps and bungee cords so I got a big old batch of bag of uh, bungee cords here I got a bunch of toe strap or I mean uh, sorry ratchet straps different sizes and then of course uh, you, know, you want to have some good heavy-duty toe straps and then a funnel of some sort and I actually go a little bit further and I actually keep a small come along in the, in the vehicle in case I need a ratchet you know try to pull myself out of a spot you know I'll have my own way to do it Also, in my vehicles, I always keep some sort of a roadside emergency kit. You know, I've got some markers, uh, eye scraper, uh, and a set of jumper cables and whatnot. So, some towels, that sort of thing. So, a can of fix a flat. So, never know we're going to need this stuff. Some gloves.
Also need to get yourself a tool kit of some sort. So I've had this for many years, just keep it in the back of the truck. I'll probably pack some other tools to go along with it, like a, uh, uh, normally, normally bring like a floor jack or something like that as well. Um, I mean, you got the normal jack that comes with the vehicle, but you know, I'm actually gonna be towing a trailer. So here's my little six by eight trailer. I normally throw my side by side up on here to, uh, you know, tow, tow places. So I got a little bit of prep work I'm doing it. Planning on doing the uh, wheel bearings, packing the hubs and, uh, you know, getting it all ready to go to head out west. So that's pretty much it uh, for, you know, preparing my vehicles. You know, I, I'm driving a truck, towing a trailer, uh, kind of a small trailer, six by eight. And, uh, you know, I got my side by side that I kind of, I'll probably do another video just showing some of the stuff I did for that to, to have it better prepared. I actually had the side by side out last trip out, uh, but it was new and it was pretty stripped down. So I quickly figured out some things that I wanted to change for the next trip out. Um, but you know, when you, you, you're towing a trailer, uh, you know, in a truck, um, you know, you definitely want to have a spare, full size spare for the trailer, or spare for the trailer, definitely full size spare for your, your vehicle. Um, and just basic common sense, you know, um, you know, some wheel chocks for your trailer if you need to park it, uh, stuff like that. I mean, I use uh, trailer locks to keep, you know, hitch locks and stuff for, you know, security reasons. I mean, if somebody wants to take the trailer, I mean, you know, they can still figure out a way, but it's a little bit of a deterrent on that. Um, you know, floor, a regular floor jack, not that stupid scissor jack thing that comes with the, the vehicles normally. Um, and, uh, you know, for the trailer itself, preparing it to get ready to, to go, you know, I mean, it's about 4,000 miles round trip for me. So, uh, you know, I re, I'm, I'm repacking my bearings, replacing the seals on the hubs. Uh, I actually have a greasable, uh, bearing cap so I can you know I normally carry a grease gun with me and, and squirt those things uh, periodically check for play and all that um, you know last time my tires started falling apart I had some tires that started to dry out a little bit and I started losing chunks of tread on the way home I was able to make it back um, but they were dangerously close to you know needing some tires replaced so I, I've since replaced them though um, but anyways, um, that's about it. So for my vehicles, you know, kind of some of the stuff that I carry, uh, just, you know, Hey, better to have something, you know, uh, and not need it than need it, not have it. That's kind of my, uh, my thoughts on the subject. Um, you know, I mean, it's going long distance. You got to pr prepare for whatever might come your way. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, anybody, you know, if you got any suggestions on, um, you know, some, some other items I should carry. Maybe I left something out of the list, but uh, but those are pretty much you know my vehicular things you know to to get me back up and running and and uh, and that sort of thing. So, all right, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you all have a good day. Catch you later.